What if it turned out Avatar was a true story and it was taking place right now in the Kalahari Desert of Southern Africa? The Bushmen must go. Now, once this relocation is over, the remaining services will be terminated. Bores were sealed, tanks removed, and drums full of water emptied onto the sand. For their good and for the good of this nation. No water, no village. So they did get a lot of people to move, but some people stayed there. While this lawsuit was being filed, I thought I had something to offer. When I went into the Kalahari, it was essentially to help the Bushmen. Jamie Workman, who's studying the water wars of Southern Africa, has visited the village twice before. But at that point, I'd come to realize that uh, the Bushmen didn't need me to rescue them. What they do know is how to survive in a thirsty, apparently barren environment. I came to realize that there is no civilization better adapted to drought than the Bushmen of the Kalahari Desert. Climate adaptation boils down to water adaptation. They don't govern water, water governs them. <laughs> There's a lot of ways we can help Africans. This is a story of how the poorest people in Africa can help us. <laughs>